Hi guys, PJ here, back with another Fallout 76 video. This time in 2022, we are looking at possible water sites or water campsites that might be useful. So they have more than one use in them, in other words. So not just for, you know, a nice looking camp, you might be able to have something that's useful at the site. So anyway, onward. First one that we're coming to here, in my opinion, is the pick of the bunch. So I'll start with the best first reason. Well, there's a copper deposit right next to it, as you can see there, which is pretty handy. If you're a camp builder especially, you can use a lot, a lot of copper. Certain ammo also uses copper, so it's very, very handy to have ammo. If you're early in the game, you're going to need the resources. If you turn around and look at the back, there's a cliff running up the back there. And there's also lead deposits attached to that cliff, so literally a short run up the, up the hill there and you're going to get lead as well as copper so it's an ideal location has a pretty nice view you can see Watoga there in the distance you can see any nukes going off etc so you can actually see them drop from this location so with the nice lake and the view and the fact that you've got copper and lead this is a pretty good one again if you're new to the game there's a few different things you can do uh, being you could actually sell water if you put water purifiers in these uh, in these lakes. There's a double lake here, that's what I'm, I'm basically pointing out to you. This lake runs down the hill, there's like a sluice run, and then it comes into this stream. So it's a very scenic area. So if you're a new player, what you could do is put water purifiers down in the lake, fill it up, and then basically sell the water to the train stations every day. That'd help you substantially. Location is right here, so it's overlooking. Cranberry Bog and it's uh, you can sort of draw a line there straight down and across from the relay tower it's uh, it's nice and easy to get to you can spawn in at the relay tower just run across to the right and you'll soon find it as for camp ideas well I'll give you a couple here's one basically a pool so in other words like a holiday resort fallout styly shall we say so um, the pools are quite nice to do this one's got a floor in the pool of white tiles but you don't have to do that one there's, there's various pools. I'm sure if you look around camps, you'll see different ones. But there's your refiner that's sitting right on the edge of the circle for this particular build. So, you know, that's as far as this build goes. And then you've got the water park accessories that were in the Atom Store recently and frequently come back into the Atom Store on offer, especially the big curly slide there that you can see. If a water park's not your thing, then maybe you could do something with a bridge. You don't see that many bridge camp builds in the game, so obviously a water area or a stretch of water is ideal to put a bridge over something. Nice little idea to do there, guys. But moving on to another one. Now then, enemy-wise, the last one was pretty much enemy-free. This one, though, this one can spawn, well, as you can see, a nice vengeful mothman there to have a look at, and also yugwise and a few other bits and bobs that I've seen here. So with this one, you might want to put a bit of your camp budget into a couple of decent turrets. This one is located right here. So you're going to go across from North Cutthroat Camp, about an inch across into the map there, and that's where it's at. Running down the hill, there's like a, a secondary water area. And on this one, you've got a prospector. So you've got like a settler who's basically sieving through the water looking for minerals and stuff. You can have a bit of a chat with him and interact with him, sometimes get stuff off him. So he can be a source of, of income, if you like, you know, scrap wise, but it's nothing too good. Nice little rock formation, a weird little, there's not a tunnel as such, but it's, it's a nice little rock area. I'm sure you could do something creative with a camp with that one. Uh, bad guys, yes, you do get the odd bad guy here. Nothing too bad, though. You also get this glowing resin, which is quite handy to farm. And now we'll move on to what a class is another really nice looking one. Okay, so there you can see some scorched walking off. They don't normally come to this area, so yeah. So with this particular one, this is more for a scenery if you're building something for a nice looking camp. You've got a nice little pier there, a little walkway. You've got the sign overlooking it. So depending where you built your camp, you might be able to build up to the sign, but you've got to watch the bad guys further up the hill. Also on this particular location, there's a, an interesting room that you could use as a, I don't know, like a high value room or a little storage area as such. Basically there's a cave. It's only a small cave but it is a cave. There's not many caves in this game. So if you're new to the game, there's, there's sort of one pretty big-ish one where you can build. And there's this one. This one is tiny, like I say, but camp builders, I've seen some interesting things in these little caves. 
You've got snap reed in the actual water. Uh, snap reed can be used to refine sugar. So again, if you're new to the game, always handy. Sugar is a pretty tricky resource to keep a quantity of. You use it for quite a lot of things, including making certain XP buffs. So uh, yeah, worthwhile. On the little pier over there is a toolbox. The toolbox contains some bits and bobs that you can uh, go and get every day. And again, glowing resin on the tree nearby. So this, this one's pretty good for resources, pretty good for being a bit odd, if you like a bit out there. I would say the only negative really is the fact that it's built up all the way around the water. So in other words, you've got rocks all the way around. So getting your build level and straight with it may be tricky. You may have to build up above it, looking down onto it. But it is, it is got, it's, it's definitely got reasons to build here. It is an interesting one. Like I say, if you're selling water, you've got a decent area to put water purifiers in. But yeah, overall, not a bad one. This one being the pick of the bunch really for lack of enemies. I've never really seen anything here that's going to cause you a problem. It's in the green zone, look, you know, it's in the forest. If you look to the left there slightly, we are not far from the Mothman Museum area and just down slightly. So very easy to find that particular one from the vault. The next one, we're going to go all the way over to the right hand side of the map. And this isn't so much a case of you can build and harvest water from it. This is a scenic one. So it's not a lake. Yep, it's a waterfall. Now, waterfalls in this game, you know, they're very rare. There's this one, which is pretty much the major one. And there's sort of a small one that's pretty much useless for building. But I've seen some camp built around this waterfall and it looks absolutely fantastic. If you've got the glass, you know, building set, you can build around it and have a water feature falling through your house maybe or, you, you know, your home area. Either way, it's very good. The view from the top, also very good looking down and there's a sort of lake or large river area at the top. So you can possibly put some water farming equipment up there. But overall, I believe this one should be used for something nice just a you know a nice looking camp rather than a, a practical camp there's not really resources of such around here and no no bad guys either so it's very nice but <laughs> that's all it is you're not going to get anything from this particular camp so with that in mind and seeing where it is let's move on to the last one in this series Okay, the last one, yep, it's basically for a water farm. So as you can see, we're going all the way over to the right-hand corner of the map, and there's this massive lake. If you've played the game for a couple of weeks, you will have noticed people put, put their camps in this area. Um, the reason I've put it in is because obviously you've put some large water purifiers in it, but also just to warn you guys that this is actually a Deathclaw spawn area. So you're going to get some Deathclaw uh, nests in this area and you can get anything from matriarch ones to albino ones. You, there's all sorts of death claws can spawn here, so just be really careful where you place your camp. If you're near the edge where I am, that's fairly near to the, the locations that has the death claws. But hey, guys, hopefully this was helpful to me, particularly any new players, you know, in this year. And I'll keep updating this as the years tick by. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.